Hello guys, my name is Denver, and we are looking at what is simply called the Stardew Valley Expansion Mod. Um, it's going to add on to our farm, it's going to give us a diner, a gas station, a, uh, what else, I think two two new characters. Um, even though those new, those new characters, I guess it takes a while for them to show up, I think it's like a week or something, the, the mod developer has said. The mod developer, by the way, is Tego Bash. One of the mods that I like using from Tego Bash is a mod, it just simply turns down the saturation in the game. You can see here that like the yellows and greens are super bright and almost blinding sometimes. So this just kind of turns down the saturation. But anyways, back to this mod. What's going on right now? You guys are like, uh, Denver, haven't you played for years and years and years? You might recognize my character. Why am I adopting a dog? Well, because the first thing that I notice about it too is that it just kind of resets your entire game. It wipes uh, everything. So just a heads up if you're using this, Make sure that you save your game first. I'm so glad I backed my game up. I don't do it for every mod, but luckily for this one, I did. So let's check out the farm first. I know I'm going to need my sword, and I've got all these, the, the catalogs and whatnot from when I was making that shed video for you guys. So let's get all this junk out of the way. I think I'm going to need an axe just in case, but we're going to need to be able to cut through some stuff. And actually, you know what? I have CJB uh, cheats menu installed so let's turn up the movement speed I probably won't need 10 let's let's try like seven there we go we can hack and slash our way down now one really really extremely cool addition even to just our farm I mean this is such a cool mod it adds so much around town but especially to our farm and uh, you guys will see here in just a second Whoop. okay if we can cut through my goodness there's so much debris and stuff maybe I should have just packed some bombs should we do that okay ah, now we're, we're good I think we'll get through now we get a we get a mine cart on our farm. It says fixing it will cost twenty five thousand gold. Obviously, I've got the gold. Well, we'll come back and we'll fix that mine cart in a second. How about that? That way we can check out our farm first because you guys might be very interested in making your own farm bigger. And I know I am. You run out of space actually pretty quickly. It seems big at first. If you guys are new to Stardew Valley, it seems big, but it gets small pretty quickly. Now we have a broken bridge and an old abandoned building. What this will become if we, I don't think we have the 400 stone. So let's pull up the other uh, cheat menu that we have. The item spawner, here it is. We'll just type in, uh, I think stone. Yeah, here it is right here. All right. Oh. Yep, there we go. Yeah, now we have plenty of stone. Awesome. And if you guys, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you guys are interested in the in the cheats menus, uh, mods, whatever they're called. And so I'll go ahead and put those down in the description for you as well. This says for sale still. I'm not sure why it says for sale, but either way, let's pay 50,000 gold and, oh, this looks pretty cool. All right, let's head inside. And what you have here is a winery. And in this winery, you can do whatever you want with it. You can place kegs. I, I, this, I, all this stuff is just for looks. You can't really... I don't think you can move it. You can't do anything with it. Let's see if we can like... No, we can't do anything with it. Maybe we can move this guy? No, it doesn't look like we can. No problem. So nothing can be moved, but you get a winery on your farm. That is so cool. And some extra land uh, right down below it. So maybe you can even grow some grapes and just kind of capture the feel of what it's like to run a little winery. Uh, we break this stone down and we have a ton of extra room over here. The only thing bad about this map that I've noticed, actually, never mind. You can get through right here. I was going to say the only thing bad is you can't, I guess it blocks it off from both sides. I didn't know that hole was there. And I was going to say, I don't think you can get down to Marnie's farm. Uh, from from the top of your own farm for a while, but that is not the case. Luckily, we have access to that, and the big stone was here, the big log was there, so whatever you upgrade first, you'll be able to get to your winery with no issues whatsoever. There's a bunch of trees, and there's just not much over here. Actually, there's one more thing. Yeah, over here to the left, but you can see this is a mod that uh, is in progress. So when we right-click, it just says strings, strings from maps, and it says this. Uh, all stumps say this. I think I've tried to chop them, and if you guys are familiar with Stardew, the, the logs that look like this usually can't be chopped anyways. So we have these three logs here, and I can only assume that what, how it says the word this. I'm thinking maybe this will be in a future update or something. I don't know why it would say the word this, but I don't think anything is too different over here. I think we get a, just a little bit more room on this left side of our farm. And we'll check it out. Up, up near Grandpa's Shrine, I think is the same type of thing yeah so instead of cutting us off right here about where my mouse is we just have a couple more blocks there on the side and i do like that it's a, a fence instead of a cliff i think it, i think it's more realistic it kind of shows that maybe we have some neighbors on this side and in between 
it's something a lot of farmers do is just put up you know a, a cheap wooden fence to kind of divide it it makes it feel more more farmy more homey i guess so let's go down oh jeez, if i can cut through all this stuff <laughs> oh my there's so much debris i'm not used to this i'm used to being able to walk around on my farm let's head back down to the mine cart cut a, cut a second path down and are you guys ready to see the diner Let's go ahead and fix the mine cart and oh, we can actually go to the gas station and the diner from our mine cart. So let's just go to the diner and I'm going to fly through it real quick. Don't look at anything. I'll show you how we actually would have normally got here. Maybe I should have just taken you the normal way. Look at this. They opened up past the Jojamart. Oh, the Jojamart has been terminated. So I guess it does save some things in your game. I wonder if my community center is still all intact, but for some reason, the whole, well, not for some reason. I mean, I replaced the map. I replaced it with the brand new farm and therefore my old farm is gone, but luckily I can just kind of drag it back in. So no problem there. No issue. This, this just overwrites your farm. And I guess you can just probably delete it and be able to have it back. So let's check out the diner. Who do we have over here? Like I said, there are two new characters. Oh, this is the cook. He's having a, a little cigarette on his break. And this is the first time I've actually been inside what seems to be called Lucky's Diner. Very cool. Let's say, oh, we can buy a coffee from, I'm not sure who this is. I guess just a standard waitress. Yeah, and I'm allowed to buy coffee from her. Let's go talk to this gentleman. It just says this again. So being that this is a mod, can we sit on this? Oh, uh, we can't. I thought I saw a hand pop up, did I? I guess maybe I confused it for this guy. Hey, I can get some fried eggs. I get a complete breakfast and a farmer's lunch. Ooh, that's that's actually pretty cool because I think these take a lot of ingredients to, to uh, craft. And so in this case, I can just go ahead and buy, well, it looks like one a day. We'll buy all four. There we go. We are good on food. And we can buy a Joja Cola. Now we'll pass on Joja Colas. This. Where? <laughs> better <laughs> i don't know maybe i installed the the mod prop or improperly but it just says it just has a where, where the tool tip should be this this <laughs> again this is a work in progress so we're going to find some funky things like that no problem this is a really interesting addition now i know the new character his name is ahmed a-m-e-d ahmed and it looks like Maybe, I mean, it looks like somebody had painted this onto his house. We can come into his house. I don't think we'll see him, at least. Now, you can see here, Ahmed. Okay, so we are in his house. These are apparently his underwear and boxers. He, he makes a choice every morning between boxers and briefs. Oh, what was this? A bathroom? What the heck? It's just a door into <laughs> the smallest bathroom you've ever seen. Cool. Let's get out of Ahmed's house. But yeah, it's just interesting. So somebody tried to paint the word terrorist. Obviously doesn't know how to spell. Uh, there's some paint cans here. So there's a sort of current events type situation that the mod decided uh, needed to be into the game. And that's fine. I, I, I wonder if at some point that's going to disappear. Because that'd be weird just having a house with the word terrorist painted on it the entire time but let's check out over here what's going on just kind of a cliffside down here we get to check out by the water and i wonder if there's any good fishing can we I, I, we can't go anywhere over here but let me pull up the fishing pole real quick and just see if we can catch some fish oh no okay so the screen is it once it goes out of the screen the uh, bobber disappears whoop whoop turn around wrong way let's see if we can just kind of land right in the oh maybe we can't fish at all Huh. Okay, so that is unfishable water. It's just a, a new place to come if you want to sit at a beach somewhere. So this is our diner and Ahmed's house. So let's go ahead and check out the gas station. We get to take the rail car. Where am I? Oh, I'm up up at the top behind the gas station. Uh, similar to, I, I think, what the mod creator was going for in this. And you can see here down below. I've checked this out just one time. I haven't looked, I don't think, even inside the buildings yet. But this, how you get here is you run through to the end of the tunnel. Making good use of the tunnel because normally when you come in the tunnel, you only have this thing right here bring a rainbow shell to the train platform all right so that's that that's that kind of end game quest sorry spoiler alert if you haven't done the end game quest that actually doesn't give much away anyways this is where the bus leaves to go to the desert now we have a stop along the way which is kind of perfect because on the way to a desert you might see like in the middle of of two towns you might see a place like this and here we have the character sam and i guess he lives in an old rail car now we can't go in yet uh, I'm not sure if that's based off the time or what, but Sam does not live 
uh, very cleanly. Can I get down to this? Yes, we can get down here. I guess there's just nothing we could do. I was going to try to play some music off his old junky stereo, but there's bags, there's tires, there is a dumpster, and I'm actually very curious. I don't know if you guys are interested, but I'm kind of curious to see if I can actually cut. Oh, gosh, the speed... The speed makes it hard. So we can't cut down the trees. Can we cut down the single pieces? We can. So these trees are just placed for looks. No problem. It definitely adds uh, to the atmosphere of it, kind of having this like overgrown type forest between an old junkyard and, a, and an old broken down gas station. It says play lotto. We can't do anything with the gas. No tool tips for the motorcycle. The dumpsters, maybe. Wash. Oh, wait. Ooh. It is... <laughs> certainly a gas station bathroom oh there's an invisible door here okay we can get in oh my gosh all right so i wonder what he's gonna say when we get the tool tips in because this is disgusting where is that toilet paper connected is that on the ceiling <laughs> either that or i'm just crawling down underneath it across the disgusting gas station floor let's go inside the gas station i think it's gonna be empty but let's check yes it is so the characters don't show up for a while again if you guys are interested in getting this mod check out down below in the description uh for all the information that you'll need if i remember if i forget let me know oh vegetable frozen and nothing in the middle all right i'm just kind of checking out the tool tips canned it's, it's interesting going through the mind of a mod creator. Okay, so News Monthly. Okay, I assume News Monthly. Hey, and there's our new character, Sam. Now, we're actually not talking to Sam, obviously, unless he's invisible. But this is the new character, Sam. He looks like a spawn of Pam. I think you guys might agree. So we can buy beer. We can buy pale ale. We can buy wine. Or just a an innocent little Jojo Cola. Ugh, I'm thirsty for, for a non-alcoholic beverage. Again, I'm a teacher. My students are watching. All I drink is cola ever. Got it? All right. If anybody asks. Okay, so this is, this is our gas station. And I believe that's about it in the game. If we hit the map, we can see our new farm. It looks huge. We went to the diner, which is all the way over here, which you get to behind Jojo Mart. And up here is the gas station. I don't believe, let me take a quick look, see if I'm forgetting anything. We got the diner, the gas station, Ahmed. We got Sam, if that was the new character indeed, and I'm not just mistaken. Oh, it looks like there might be one more place I haven't gone yet, but you know what? I'm gonna let that be up to you guys. You guys decide um, if you want to install this or not, and it should be pretty easy. If you're, if you're used to installing mods, it should be fairly easy. If you guys have questions, let me know. This definitely will add something to your game if you're just kind of tired of the old farm but it will erase your old farm so make sure you're very 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 tired of your old farm and that's it for today guys thank you for watching this video and click like click subscribe you guys know the drill and uh, check out stardew valley expansion by tango bash i will see you guys in the next video